What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 10 in my 6th annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to glorious Halloween. And at the time of me recording this video right now, it is about 2 a.m. Of course, you guys will see this video later, but that is important because I just got back from seeing Victor Crowley, uh, which is obviously coming out in the year 2017, and Adam Green was in attendance. So this is the fourth Hatchet film. I had a blast seeing this. The crowd was great. Everybody was there. It was a packed theater. Adam Green stayed for a Q&A afterwards, got to meet everybody, sign some stuff. It was a fantastic time. I got to talk to Adam Green, who you guys know who followed me is one of my favorite filmmakers. I buy every movie that he does. I listen to his podcast. I try to support his work as much as possible. And Hatchet 4, or Victor Crowley, as the official title is, came out of nowhere. It was supposed to be a 10th anniversary screening of Hatchet 3, and boom, all of a sudden we have Victor Crowley, which is amazing. And if you guys are curious, I have no idea when it's coming out on DVD or Blu-ray or VOD or Netflix or any of that, but there are still dates on this Victor Crowley tour, uh, so it could be coming to a city near you. Check Aeriscope.com for details. I highly recommend if you guys can get tickets to this, uh, see it because it is an absolute blast. And to get into the film, obviously I'm doing a review here, but Adam Green did ask everybody to kind of keep hush-hush on a lot of the details, uh, some of the uh, reveals and jokes and characters and different things like that. So I will respect his wishes and I will remain as spoiler-free as possible uh, because I think that that is important going into a film like this that was such a surprise to begin with. Basically, the plot is Victor Crowley is mistakenly resurrected and he is back. Uh, also, it stars Perry Shen, who of course we know is the Andrew character. He was also in Hatchet 1 and 2 playing different characters. He was the last known survivor. He is now, you know, 10 years later from the events of Hatchet 1 through 3, which we know all took place back to back to back uh, in the same couple of nights. And it's now 10 years later, and it's also 10 years later since the, you know, the first Hatchet uh, in real time. And... Uh, Perry Shen's character Andrew uh, is now, you know, semi-famous and he is uh, writing a book on his experiences and that's kind of where I will leave off the plot synopsis. I'm sure there's a bit more that I can say, but it's another Hatchet film, guys, and honestly going into it, that's kind of what I expected. I expected Hatchet and I was happy to get Hatchet. There are tons of jokes that people will get if they're Adam Green fans or Hatchet fans, tons of in jokes. Uh, there's a lot of uh, references to other things, you know, that that honestly were so cool, man. Seeing sketching different things was awesome. Uh, it feels a little bit smaller, like the film was dialed back a little bit, you know, Hatchet 1 through 3, it just kept getting bigger and bigger with more characters and more characters, and, and it almost became, uh, you know, super fast-paced kills because there were so many characters, you know, trying to one-up. It's like we dialed it back a little bit, and, and, and let's just do another Hatchet film, and uh, that's the vibe that I got. It felt a little bit smaller, a little bit more contained, but still had all the awesomeness that, that Hatchet fans love. Uh, there's a lot of good writing in this one with a, a lot of the, um, you know, characters and their interactions with each other. Uh, Adam Green still definitely has that nice comedic touch that that hits hits these beats just perfectly, you know. And uh, the crowd was howling at certain parts, you know, as was I. I, I thought it was a, a fantastically written uh, script um, for a fourth Hatchet film, you know. Uh, going off of how we left you know I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool how they brought it all back and and honestly uh, guys this one um, I I think that some people might expect to see maybe a little bit more kills or a little bit more gore uh, it is definitely toned down a little bit on that but there are some great moments in this one involving kills like like really funny uh, good kills here um, and I know that sometimes horror fans hear the word funny and uh, you know, it kind of makes them a little bit nervous, but 
it's not any different than any of the other Hatchet films. Like, it is Hatchet, you know what I mean? And there was one scene that just killed me early on in the film. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't know if you guys are ever going to see this scene because apparently it just might not make it into the final cut or whatever. Um, I'm not going to go into too many details on that, but hopefully it does because I think it's a great scene and it's uh, a lot of social commentary on uh, cinema and horror films specifically that I, that I thought was pretty cool. And uh, as far as the location setting, um, all good. Everything felt very hatchet-like. Kane Hodder is back again as Victor Crowley and, you know, still just as good as ever. You know, horror fans, we love Kane. Uh, he, he's a awesome, you know, legend in the horror genre. And, and you know, I, this is now fourth time playing uh, Victor Crowley, which I believe is more than Jason. So um, it's cool that, v that Kane Hodder was able to play these two iconic characters. Um, I'm trying to, you know, dance around spoilers and, and reveals and stuff like that, but there's, you know, some familiar faces in there that horror fans are going to like. Uh, there's some uh, ton. I mean, guys, there are tons of references to things that uh, either Adam Green uh, has said or done or been a part of or something in you know just his his history that the fans will pick up and you guys know uh who've been following me for a long time adam green is uh one of my favorite directors of all time i buy all of his films i try to support everything that i can you know if if Scope puts out uh, a blu-ray on their site you know comes signed i'll pick up like my holliston season two you know and it comes signed and and the money uh helps them a little bit more but yeah guys i mean uh victor crowley is a lot of fun i had a blast with it i'm actually not gonna rate this film um, just simply because uh, I'm not really reviewing the film. I'm more talking about the movie. Uh, but I highly recommend you guys check it out. You know, if, if you can see it on its tour, definitely do so. If you have to wait until it hits uh, Blu-ray, definitely, uh, you know, support it. Pick it up from uh, Airy Scope. You never know. Maybe there could be more hatchets on the way if this one does well. You know how um, most of the time with these sequels, if uh, one does well, then maybe you get another one. And, and you know... Same thing goes with when D Digging Up the Marrow came out. Like, if, you know, everybody, you know, supported that film uh, like it deserved, then we probably would be having a Digging Up the Marrow 2 uh, coming soon or, you know, by now, which would have been cool. Uh, but, yeah, support it, you know. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who who will and a lot of people who listen to me or follow the stuff I do will. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't really as much of a review. It's just uh, a, a experience. I got to see Hatchet. Four, aka Victor Crowley and one thing that I will say is I'm not the hugest fan of, of titling it Victor Crowley you guys know how I am with sequels the more there are the more reason there is to number them um, you know when you call it Victor Crowley kind of gives off that remake vibe and stuff like that but that's not the case um, it's definitely a sequel and uh, yeah I just you know he does explain that he just felt like Hatchet 1 through 3 always planned as a trilogy it's a trilogy Victor Crowley is kind of a, a, a new chapter in in this story so it's kind of got a different title and things like that but there's so many cool um, moments in this one like uh, that I just smiled at you know like just just smiled at because I'm like oh yeah that's that's what I love you know and, and I, I just love that this film came out of nowhere and um, yeah that's that's my that's my talk on Hatchet guys I'll talk more about it on uh, the next podcast that we record not this next coming one because that's the child's play retrospect um, including a call of Chucky review but uh, the podcast right after that the following week uh, I will talk more about uh, my experiences so thank you guys for watching peace out